Next type of shot we're going to cover is an in-close shot, or a shot that takes place kind of right around the goal, maybe two, three yards in front of the goal. There are some things that we want to do basically exactly opposite of what we want to do for an outside shot. As I said, in an outside shot, you need power. You're going to create power through having your hands away from your body. All right, when we shoot around the goal, we really don't need a lot of speed and power. We're going to talk about getting placement. So we want to have our hands in close to our body. Okay? The next thing we want to do is we want to choke up on our stick in close. All right? We don't need all that extra leverage to create the power so we can have our hands in close. This gives us extra control of our stick in case there's a bad pass that we receive. All right, so choke up. Still try to keep your hands the same distance apart though. You can see my hands are about 12 or 13 inches apart. I'm just leaving a little bit of room on the butt end. Some players might ask, am I exposing my butt end by choking up in close? Not at all. If my hand is here or my hand is here, there's really no difference as far as the defenseman checking me. The power that we do need, I mean, we obviously need a little bit of speed to score, okay? We're going to create through our wrists. We're not going to create it through an upper body turn. We're going to create it through a wrist snap. And basically, it looks like this. Our hands are in close to our body, okay? And I'm just going to snap my top hand over and pull my bottom hand under. You can see the stick is pretty close to my body. My hands are choked up. Just a quick little wrist snap to create power. If I put a ball in it, in my stick, you can see what it looks like. Again, hands are nice and close, and I'm creating plenty of power that I'm going to help put the ball in the net from around the goal. Now that we've talked about the technique involved in scoring more goals from in close, let's talk about where to place the ball. And I want to start with talking about where not to shoot the ball. And when I say not to shoot the ball, does that mean in a game you never shoot there? Absolutely not. We're just talking about percentages. So let's just talk about that real quick. Probably when you're around the goal, the lowest percentage shot is going to be up high, okay? The goalie has a big stick, he's got his helmet, he's got his torso in the goal, okay? And it's going to be pretty hard to score up top on a goalie. Also, the next spot you probably don't want to shoot is you really don't want to shoot bounce shots from in close. If I'm this close to the goal, really the only place I can bounce it is halfway between me and the goal. If I'm a goalie and the ball comes halfway between where I was and where I am, it's just an easy step out and he's going to make an easy save. So what we want to do is we want to have our stick up nice and high. And again, just think about the technique. I said hands in close, all right, choked up. That puts the stick right in the box area, okay, nice and high right near our ear, okay? And what we want to do is we want to shoot the ball on a downward trajectory, okay? And I like to aim for the net about one foot off the ground, okay? Or I can bounce the ball past the goal line, all right? So this is what it'll look like. My stick is up nice and high. I hit that spot one foot off the ground, okay? It could be on this side of the goal, okay? But again, all wrists, you can see I'm using all wrists, all right? And I'm shooting for that spot. That makes it a very difficult save for the goalie. He's up high and the ball's coming downward right past his hip. If you shoot that way on a percentage basis, you're gonna score more goals from around the net.